Hi, this is Miss Christine at the Conkle Library, and we're getting ready to go on a safari, meerkat safari. You can see some jungle animals along the way. Pack your bags and grab your hat. Let's go on safari. Follow me, the meerkat. I'll take you to places where animals run free. Listen for clues and guess who we might see. Wonder who these tracks belong to. This gentle beast peeks over treetops with ease. Can you guess who likes to nibble on leaves? Giraffes. When giraffes are thirsty, they bend low, down low. 18 feet tall, giraffes sometimes grow. They close their noses to keep out dust and sand. Giraffes live in herds and sleep while they stand. Another track. Out on the plains, this king is hard to miss. What kind of cat would rather roar than hiss? You guessed it, lions. Lions are fierce and big and strong. They hunt at night and sleep all day long. Lions see in the dark with eyes that glow. Two lions rub cheeks to say hello. This is an interesting track. This creature glides and slides on its tail. Can you guess who, instead of fur, has scales? Snakes. Snakes can crawl, coil, climb, and swim. Several times a year, snakes shed their skin. Some snakes are short, some as long as a bus. Some snakes have fangs, but not all are poisonous. This fellow has ears that flap in the breeze. Who do you think sounds like a trumpet with, with a sneeze? Elephants. Elephants are the largest mammals on land. Their noses, called trunks, they can use like a hand. Elephants can live to be 60 years old. Elephants get stomach aches when the weather is cold. There's some tracks like a bird. Not a parrot, not a peacock or a chickadee. What feathered friend has webbed feet and pink knees? Flamingos. Flamingos are known for their long skinny legs. In nests of mud, they lay a single white egg. Flamingos live near salty marshes and seas. They mingle in groups called colonies. There's some tracks. Try to guess this one. Its name is the key. Who do you suppose is more like you than me? Monkeys. Monkeys are noisy and playful and fun. They like to eat fruit and snooze in the sun. Monkeys can swing from tree to tree. They use their long tails for balance, you see. This neighbor calls out with a snort and a bray. Can you tell me who tends to blend with the shade? Oh, I see stripes on the zebras. Zebras have stripes so they can easily hide. Lions and leopards they watch for wide-eyed. Zebras, like horses, love to eat grass. They're feisty and wild and run very fast. Congratulations, our safari is done. You've guessed all my friends and met every one. Until our next adventure, it's time for me to go. Take a trip to the zoo. There are more animals to know. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the animals that might be on a safari if we went to Africa, say in the grasslands or in the jungles. It would be fun to look through our binoculars. But you can come and get a pair of binoculars at the library. And if you want to, you can also color some masks of some of the animals that we've seen on the safari. There's giraffes and elephants. You can color them and cut them out to see through the eyes. Here's a zebra and you can color them however you like in different colors and shades. And then you can come to the library and go on a scavenger hunt to find some of these animals around our library and the books that we read. Happy safari!